I wanted to do something different to my hair. I found this wig in my band of hair that I have. I tried wearing it once before, I didn't like it. So here I am again. So I'm just adding a little gel to my edges to make sure that they are flat before the install. I wanna tie it up with a scarf and let it dry for a couple minutes. Bam, edges flat and dry. So like I said earlier, I had wore the wig once before but I didn't do anything to it. I just cut the lace and put the wig on. I didn't plug it. I didn't even put any product in it. Now a glueless wig or a good closure wig, I can throw those on in minutes. It's something about a ear to ear lace that just gets me every time. Now I haven't done ear to ear many times, but I feel like I've done it enough for it to look pretty decent. Even after putting the wig on multiple times, it's still challenging to me. How many wigs do I have to put on? before it just becomes easy to me. So that same gel that I used to lay my edges flat, is the same gel that I'm gonna use to glue my wig on. I was good up until this point when I had to actually lay the wig down and get the lace to lay correctly. This next clip is an eight minute clip that has been uncut, but is showing the struggle of getting this wig to lay down correctly. I only used two layers of the gel but the amount of times that I pulled this lace up, I just knew it was not gonna turn out good. Now the look I was going for with this wig is kind of like a cute, messy look. I kind of wanted that flip over look where I could flip it to one side, flip it to the opposite side. You know, if it just falls down in the middle, that's the look I was going for. I had to cut off about a half of an inch off of my right side. I'm so glad it was just the right side because to me, cutting lace is stressful. You cut too much, it's gone you can't get it back and so now I'm just adding a little glue where I see in between the lace where there isn't glue and also just pulling back those little flyaways anything that I don't want attached to the lace while it's drying now I'm gonna go ahead and add on my wig band so I can start the melting process I'm pulling all that hair back into a ponytail out the way and still making sure that all those little hairs and flyaways are away from the hairline Next, I just wet my hands and kind of finger comb the water into the hair to kind of smooth it out just a bit. Next, I added some texture foam. This helps with the detangle process and also makes those curls pop. I always start my detangling at the ends and work my way up to the roots. After the detangle process, this is all the hair that came out. This wig only had a three inch parting space. That was another reason why I wanted to kind of just wear the hair flipped over. The track right at the top that met the lace was very visible. Even if I tried to part it to get that hair to cover that track, it was taken from parting space at the front and it just looked really weird. But if I just wore it flipped over to the side, you really couldn't tell. So taking the wig band off, y'all, I'm like, okay, this, this looks kinda good. But you know, as always, if you look at something too long, you get to like, what? And it just start looking weird and crazy to you. And that's how I was feeling about this hairline. I was pressed for time and I was just like, this is just gonna have to work. I added one layer of this spray to the lace and I pulled that band back up and let it dry for a couple more minutes. And now I'm just gonna play with the hair for a little bit and make sure it's laying the way that I want it to dry. So after that last spray, I gave it a good 25, 30 minutes to let it dry. And when I pulled that band off, it looked so good. It was crusty, but it looked really good. I don't know why I didn't record this, but to get rid of those crusty pieces on the lace, I just took a little bit of that spray and sprayed it on my fingertips and I kind of just dabbed it over the crusty areas and I let it air dry. And if any of the crusty spots are on your skin, you can see I have a little bit right at the top of my forehead. I just take a Q-tip, add a little bit of alcohol and just lightly wipe over it. So now I'm just lightly fluffing out the hair. The hair is probably a good 85% dry right now. The texture foam that I use kind of hardens the hair. So me rubbing down the hair kind of gets rid of that hardness. It also fluffs up the hair and makes the hair look a lot bigger. It turned out really well. Next time I would definitely pluck that hairline, pluck that part. The part was looking a little Barbie-ish. I didn't like that. But I really didn't have the time to sit there and pluck the whole hairline and that part. But next time, I definitely will. And honestly, y'all, without the plucking, it really doesn't look that bad. If I decided to never pluck this wig, it would be okay. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave your girl a thumbs up. If you are still watching and you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure that you go ahead and do so. 
If you have any comments, questions about any of the products I used in this video, make sure you drop them in the comment box below. As always, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.